My name is Ananta Prietno. I am a creative director at Golem. My name is Tom Glass. I am a senior art director at the Escape Pod. So my career path, well, it's long and storied and it's actually neither of those things. I went to portfolio school at the University of Texas at Austin. Uh, did a couple advertising internships there uh, and then moved up to Chicago. Started, got a gig at Golan as a uh, junior copywriter and kind of worked my way up from there. Uh, I went to Columbia College here in Chicago for graphic design. Uh, I then worked a little bit in some nonprofit sectors doing design a little bit, and then uh, I ended up working with Ananta at Golan for a little, and then I've kind of agency hopped a little bit, but now I'm at the Escape Pod uh, as a senior art director. Okay, so our topic is portfolio improvement, and our kind of fancy title for it is breaking down the philosophy of portfolio development. So what exactly does that mean? Well, there's, we kind of noticed as we were talking about it that there's this gap between the blood, sweat, tears, effort, et cetera, that goes into a project and the relative lack of blood, sweat, tears, et cetera, that go into making your portfolio. So we were really just aiming to help you bridge that gap and make sure that your product or your work really shines through. Yeah, we're looking to do that. Uh, you know, it's nice that we have both of us because we like working in sort of like this collaborative workspace. So we're kind of going to open for conversation because most of the jobs that you get with your portfolio is a collaborative job. So uh, it's important because, I mean, that's how work is done. Like you, you build up your book, you are able to talk about it, you know, like, that what you did is what needed to be done and you can defend it and it just helps add purpose behind all of the work that is out there so yeah it's super important because if you feel good about your portfolio you kind of feel good about yourself as a creative so i think the key takeaways from our session is really just a, a renewed feeling of kind of confidence in your own work i think a lot of times folks who are a bit more inexperienced or who don't feel great about their portfolio kind of walk into an interview and think, oh, I really, I really hope that you like that. It's, I, I hope you like my work. Uh, but yeah. what we really want people to start feeling like is, you know what, I believe in my work and that's why, you know, it doesn't even matter if you like it or not, I believe in it, I'm gonna work with folks that believe in it too. Best snack, okay, the best snack, and I'm gonna really paraphrase a, uh, and a photography adage. But the best snack is the snack that you have within your reach. You'll get about that one. But if I were to actually like say what the best actual snack is, I'd probably be like, oh, bagel bites. Those are pretty awesome. Because <laughs> if pizza's on a bagel, you can have it anytime. What's so great about 1980s design, man? Oh, the yeah. greatest thing about 1980s design, uh, I, I think I picked this up pretty early on and it kind of, I'm not gonna really say it made me think that like design was something I should do, but I had this like exploratory phase where I was like in a video store with my dad and he'd go and look at whatever and I'd go and look at like horror movies or like all the other scary ones, the ones you're not supposed to be looking at when you're like six. And I'd be like, that's cool. That guy's inside a giant blob. <laughs> or like just, that's kind of where I first saw this. <laughs>